What does it mean to feel the bracing chill of a walk in winter? Or the warm caress of the sun against your skin? Or the soft weight of a baby pressed against your chest? The way the body perceives these sensations has been little understood, but David Julius and Ardem Potapudian have done much to correct that. Dr. Potapudian has discovered the channels on your skin that detect touch and pressure. Sense of touch does something pretty amazing, which is translates this physical force, you know, pressure and temperature into a language that cells understand and communicate with each other. In this case, either a chemical signal or electrical. For Dr. Potapudian, understanding how the body senses pressure has broader implications. One of the cool things about finding the pressure sensors has been that in addition to uh, touch and pain, we can start thinking about what other parts of our bodies are involved in sensing pressure. And this includes, for example, feeling full when you eat too much, uh, your bladder being full when you have to go to the restroom, um, but also how blood vessels sense blood pressure. And all of these molecules are telling us but all these other processes that we didn't actually initially think about. David Julius has discovered receptors in your skin called trip channels, which detect either heat or cold, and then they alert the brain to what they've detected. Their research is also helping scientists to understand the chemical signals that make humans experience pain. The molecules that we've identified are important for us uh, in acute sensation, that is our ability to detect pain when it's useful and protective. But one of the other great aspects of our work is that it tells us about how these molecules are involved in pain that's not so protective like chronic pain when it becomes more debilitating and not as useful as a warning system. David Julius hopes that his research will one day lead to an alternative to opioids in the treatment of pain. It's a huge goal, but he's not daunted and hopes young scientists will embrace huge challenges. Most of what we do is failure. A small part of it is success. And, um, and there's a, most of the things that you try in the beginning don't work. I think it's important for students to know that everybody has their moments of excitement, but a lot of the times you're just sort of trying to be patient and work through a lot of problems and get to where you need to get. For their breakthroughs in identifying key elements in how we perceive touch, cold, and heat, and for the wider implications of that research, David Julius and Ardem Potapudian are awarded the 2020 Kavli Prize in Neuroscience.